a kingdom is born in the brother. He has been finally convinced. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, as a matter of fact, we'll be seeing him off to the airport first thing tomorrow morning. Yes. <laughs> um, please, do take very good care of him. And um, don't fail to keep us posted. Yes. Thank you very much. All right. Who was that? Um, Ugonne. I called to let her know that Daddy will be coming in tomorrow. Good. What did she say? Oh, <laughs> if you say, she'll be waiting at the airport for him. That's good, though. Ah, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, princess. I don't remember. Please, how are you? I'm fine. So, where did you come in? Two nights ago. How about you, please, one for? Last night. Oh, Thank you for responding to our calls. That shows a mark of great responsibility. Thank you very much. I was coming from his highness chamber now, and um, he told me you people have decided to fly him abroad for proper medical treatment. Uh, sadly, we decided to go to Canada. Canada? Yeah. He's going to look after him there. Um, Princess Ugumma, she lives with her oh, husband. That's oh, that's good. That means she will really take proper care of him. Yeah. Well, may the girls grant him journey mercies and uh, quick recovery. Mm -hmm. So, how is everything? Hello? Is that Ogunle? Yeah, Ogunle, why are you sounding like that? Father! Huh? Father couldn't make it! What? No! Tell me it's not true! Passed out this afternoon! Hey! Yes, the doctor told me all they could raise the light without no one real! Chair. My princess, Hello. thank you for welcoming us into your house. And um, what has happened has happened. His Royal Highness Igwe Ochenna the fifth was a great man. He died a fulfilled man. He did not leave anything unfinished. So we don't have much regret though he's going to be greatly missed. What we should be talking about now really is a way forward. What is the next step? So we expect you to tell us. Thank you. Indeed, I greet you all. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh no, mm. I greet you. Mm. Uh, first of all, I want to use this great opportunity to express our profound gratitude to you all in all your unprecedented effort and concern towards any issue that concerns this family. You're welcome. We want to say we appreciate you. You're welcome. Just as the Ono has said, our father is a great man. He is the king of king in this central zone and also the former ambassador of Nigeria to Canada. 
as such, our father is a great man and deserves a befitting burial. In as much as we, the immediate family, is planning to see that anything he may deserve comes to be, we cannot do anything without your support. Therefore, my elders, I beckon on you people to always be around us so as to correct us whenever the needs be so that we cannot make any mistake. I thank you, my elders. Thank you. Thank you. We we'll always have our support. Thank you. Thank you, our praise. You have spoken well. You are indeed the true son of your father. Thank you. And, uh, and we, the elders in council, have heard you. And we are giving you assurance that you have our support. Oh, thank you, Nietzsche. Nietzsche Akanta. Thank you very much. We appreciate. So, have you come up with a date? Um, yes. We have actually come up with a date. We have chosen the last day of this month. Uh, but if any of you have a contrary view towards that. No, no, no. no. It's okay. It's welcome. <laughs> 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 So tell us, um, how was Scotland and how was school when you left? Uh, um, okay, Scotland was cool. I had fun. I enjoyed my stay. Mm -hmm. But trust me, at the point, the school became so fucking boring. Hey, 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 spare us that crap, okay? Who do you want to deceive here, Vincent? That is what you always say. School was boring. School was powering. Look, you obtained your first degree in biochemistry. School was also boring. Mm -hmm. You obtained your second degree in physics. School never ceased it being boring. Mm -hmm. Now you are in for medicine and surgery. Hey nigga, you better shut up your mouth if you don't want to tell us the truth. <laughs> okay. what, what are you trying to blab about? Eh? Okay. Am I the only one that is sitting for a third degree? Am I? But I never deny the fact. I always admit that school is the most beautiful place to stay. Uh, oh, come on, bro, Stan. You're lying. Hey, 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 Victor. Last night, I heard when Big Mommy asked you how school was. And you told her you told that school was the most boring place on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate! <laughs> You're the worst pretender. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, let's do away with the digression and face the BOD, okay? BOD? Yeah. Yo, business of the day? Okay. <laughs> Can somebody tell me the fucking BOD? It's alright, it's alright. Ah. Guys, listen, let me tell you. We are here to celebrate the departure of our beloved grandpa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The departure of a life well spent. Yes. Mm -hmm. The departure of an icon. I love that. A great hero. Yeah. A legend yeah. of his generation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I, I think you have a point there. Yeah. yeah. So can we all stand up? And we are very smooth first. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Why not? Our hero. Yeah. Our legend. Yeah. Our icon. Yeah. yeah. To you, Grandpa. Yeah. 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 And for the greater tomorrow, mm -hmm. for the future kings and queens of this great kingdom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. But seriously, I'm missing something in this village. You're welcome, Your Highness. Hmm. You're welcome. Thank 
you, my princess, for the drinks. Um, <coughs> your late father, Yugwe Ochenda the Fifth, was a very good friend of mine. We worked together in those years in the civil service. Before he left, uh, while he was serving as Nigerian's ambassador to Canada to take over his father's throne when he died. A year later, I resigned also to take up my father's throne as the Okanga of Okoroba Kingdom, Igu Ojimba. Uh, since all these years, I miss him so much, even the people of my kingdom. Hmm. My prayer is that the gods we have a soul in safe repose. It's a... It's a... Mm. You go to the fifth. My late friend was a very peace-loving man. And one thing I will never regret about him is that he inculcated this into you, his children. <laughs> huh? You can't you see, can that, see that with me. <laughs> then, we expect one thing from you. Like father, like son. Huh? Um, I want to say a very big thank you to you, your highness, for always being there whenever there is need. I and my brother really want to say we appreciate. Um, your highness, there is one thing I want you to understand, and that is, I and my brother cannot wake up one day and begin to destroy what took our father years to build? It's not possible. <laughs> it's, not it's not possible, possible. at all. And um, before our late, fa uh, our late father died, he took his time to educate I and my brother the need and all about unity. And since then, unity has been our watchword, our guide, our everything. You can say that again. <laughs> you know, they say united, we, we stand. stand and divided. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Then the job is made is now. I'm so glad. So <laughs> glad. I'm glad in my heart actually. Uh, and I expect nothing short of this saying. Like father. I like son. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> mm, that being as it might be, uh, what is the ego in council doing now as regards to the next ego on the throne? Your Royal Highness. Sir, I didn't get to. I mean, who among you is going among the throne as the Igwe Ochendo the sixth of this kingdom? Now that the funeral rites of our late Igwe have been duly performed, I think this is the right time to decide the next issue, which is of course who is going to be the next Igwe on the throne. But I think there is a little problem here. What is that? The Igwe has two sons yes. and they are twins mm -hmm. by birth. Whom among them do we crown? <laughs> what a childish question. The elders, of course. How do you know the elders? They know themselves. They know themselves. Please, you go. Big boys. Which big boys? Wow. Mm -hmm. That's where they have come to. Big boys. Big boys. And a beautiful lady. Good evening. How have you guys been? Oh. Ah, we just walked in. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Look at them. And them. Um, where is Vincent? Oh, he's cashing from somewhere. Oh, yeah. Tom, you know you can't keep monitoring us. This is our father, Lion. And yeah. we got a lot of people visit, okay? Of course. Exactly, uh, Mom. We need to walk You know what they say? Home is the sweetest place to be, and we're enjoying a better part of it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Chop. Yeah. That's the talk. Yeah. Chop. This one says I got a lot of people. Mm. <laughs> 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 you see? You guys will not kill me. Hi, hey, shut up. We are still better than you guys. You know, you guys are living in this country, but tell me. How many times do you people visit home within a year? No, bro, don't say that. If you guys not being home, why do you really come back? Well, that's not even the point. The point is that Big Mom, what's the game on board? Mm. There's no dumb moment with you. What's the game? We aren't playing any game, dude. No, we are playing you, don't 
<laughs> He's really waiting for Big Mom to tell us a story. I love stories. Yeah. Mom, tell us stories. You should have told me that earlier. Oh, Big Mama. Um, what kind of story do you want to? Let it be more about the Indians, because I'm planning to get an Indian maiden for a wife. Really? <laughs> Stanley. Okay, okay, okay. Quiet, everybody. I will tell you. My country is a diverse country. Yeah. Rich in traditions and customs. With Kulusa heritage panned across the country and over 1,000 languages. Wow, 1,000 languages? Of course. Why are you guys surprised? I know that already. Hey, 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 hey. Shut up. Who dat you? Who dat you? Is it because you look like one of the chief priests? Uh, big bro, big bro, I'm the chief priest. You can call me the boss. Big mama, now tell wife. We greet you all, elders of our land. Oh no, you are welcome. Sincerely, I want to say that I don't understand what you people are talking. We are twins, and as such, we are of the same age. No one is my elder. That is what I know. Please, my uncle, what are you talking about? Everyone here, including you, know, knows that your brother, Prince Wafo, is older than you. Each year, Okonta, I disagree with you. Like I said, we are twin brothers and we are of the same age. Okay? Uncle, Prince Wanko, your birth certificate has it that uh, your brother came 30 minutes before you. Even your left father, Digwe, told me that. Oh. Now, we all know that. Uh, in every twin, the first to come out from the mother's womb is the others. Oh no, I disagree with you. You got it all wrong. It's just that I don't want to start agreeing on the street. Whatever. There is no good. And stop sounding like an initrate. Who is this? Ole Kebo. Eh? Are you more educated than me? What are you insinuating? that you are now my senior. Now listen and get this clear. What we are talking here is 30 minutes. 30 good minutes, not 30 seconds. Do you understand me? Yes, sir, this is not what I am talking about. Then what are you talking about? Let me tell you something. The situation here does not call for seniority, primary jungles, as you people are taking it to be. We should be talking about who is qualified to ascend the throne? And not this easy of that right. I am the senior, I am here. We are twins and we are brothers. Hmm. Hey, please, one, well, let me ask you a question. Who is qualified to ascend with the throne? Is it you? That is none of your business. Okay? It is left for I and my brother to decide. Hey, please, one, well. It's your contact. My elders. Because of peace, I ask for some time so that my brother and I will sort this out. We will get back to peace. Okay. Yes, it's up to you. It's up to you. Remember me? I was here yesterday. Yeah. I remember you. Are you not a Mechi? I know who's younger son. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm sorry for judging you wrong. Mm, no problem, no problem. I believe you're here to see Evans, my cousin. Yeah, Evans, is he around? He should be in his room. Okay. Um, well, thanks for the lovely chat. You know. 
Maybe one of these days I, I, I'll take you around the village, you know. There are some lovely spots I think you, you would like to see. I'll give you a chance. Okay. Who is the green snake in disguise? Who is the sorrow that we have? Who is the trouble that we have? A kingdom is burning. A people are fighting. Who is the green? The green snake in the grass. trying to deprive me of my birthright. Listen, let me tell you, I am not out to deprive you of anything. You and I know the truth. That you are not the right person to take over the throne. Or let's better say that you are not qualified to sit on it. What do you mean? You ask me how I mean. Now listen, let me tell you, the better part of your age has been spent abroad, making you to be far away from our custom and tradition. Tell me, what do you know about our culture and tradition? But my case is different. The better part of my years has been spent under this royal home. I have been with our father until his death. And he wishes that I ascend the throne. Liar! You are a blatant liar. See, I'm only trying to be frank here. Okay? Let me tell you. All these qualities you just enumerated are not good enough to stop me from mounting that throne. Well, thank God the others are there. I know that they are going to defy me because it's my birthright. Says you. Listen, let me tell you, nobody has time for that. Besides, there are a lot of important things our daddy left behind in this kingdom. And I don't think I will have time to be agreeing on all these political matters or whatever. I must make sure that everything is being brought back to book. Okay? You mean your mind is made up on mounting that throne? Well, as long as I'm alive, I'm not going to allow it to happen. <laughs> well, for, listen, let me tell you, let's not start what we cannot finish. Let us quench this stirring fire before it returns to white burning fire. Are you not the cause? Then you step down. Because I'm not ready to give up this fight. This arrant nonsense. It will not happen. This is a better you're talking about here. You will not give it up. Sweetheart, it's my twin brother we're talking about here. I said it will not happen. This is an opportunity I've been looking for for years. Everyone in this village calls me queen, but you are lying that I am not crowned the queen of this kingdom, and that I will be. Sweetheart, this matter is not as simple as you take it to be. My twin brother is so desperate to sit on this throne, and it is a matter we have to tread with caution, okay? yourself talk. I am ashamed of you. I never knew I was married to a coward. I will not have you insult me over this matter. Okay? Excuse me. Come on, John. I hate you shouting. Your father wants to give up the throne to the brother. What? Is that out of your senses? Go and ask your father, I never knew I was married to a coward. That's never. Never, let me never do that. Impossible. Never. Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Hey, Sandra. 
Sandra, always reading novels. Uh -huh. Are you a bookworm? Look, I think it's high time you give this novel thing a break. Uh, at least for once. Look, I've been searching for you everywhere. Like some kind of first lady or something. First lady, yeah, my yes? first lady. Hmm. Ah, first lady. Dash. What are you doing in this palace for the first lady? I mean, you should have been in White House or even Buckingham Palace or even, you know, Asurok. Well, that's by the way. Come, Sandra. Don't give it to my friend. Your friend? Yes, we shall be friends. Do I have two friends? Which of course. Amici, is he okay? I mean, what happened to him? Amici is not okay. Amici is sick. Really, really sick. And guess what? You are the cause. Sick? Yeah. Then, love sick. You know, uh, uh, you know, um, Amici is behaving like someone that has been stricken with some kind of love tornadoes. I just don't know. Oh, I see. So you are his spokesperson, right? I don't deal with cowards. Hey, hey, hey. Look, that's my friend you're talking about here. Besides, I didn't say he was a coward. He was coming to see you, to tell you how he feels about you. I'm only here to just bring from you, you know. You know, from my hand now. <laughs> so you are John the Baptist. <laughs> his forerunner who has come to prepare his way. <laughs> well, you can say that again. Uh, I mean, which love will be so now? <laughs> Let me see. Ah, butterfly box. Last it, last week it was James Hadley Chase, eh? Which one will lose next week now? Who knows? <laughs> now let me let me let me just take a walk. I'm glad. My kingdom is coming. The brothers are fighting. Who is that green? That green snake in disguise. For no reason should you step down for him. No! Direct my son. Yes, father. Let me ask you a question. The brothers Am I a coward? Or do I look like one? I can't even imagine this. Can you believe this? Dad, what does he take you for? He thinks he can just wake up in a broad daylight and decide to take away your bed right? How possible is this? How possible is this? No? If your father is not vigilant enough, I have been with this family for 29 years now. I know the secret of their relationship. Your father is always at his brother's back and call. He cannot stand him in issues like this. I don't think this one is going to be exceptional. That was in the past. Never! Never again! This is my bedroom. No human can take it away from me. Let me see it and see how we will do that. Come on, Mom. That have assured us is not going to give up the fight. Don't you trust him? Come to think of it, Dad, for Uncle Wonko to have mentioned that he wants to take away your bed fight is an insult to your personality, which means he has called you one zero. And for you to be battling with him up till this moment without any good results means woe to you and to this family. That, that makes it too zero. No, do not let him score three. The royal throne is our pride. And I, Derek, Nwako, Ochendo, want to be a crown prince. Do not let this be. Please. Just to know, Derek, Dad, Derek is right to you. The real city is our pride. Don't let it slip away from us. My children, the royal seat is not only your pride, but it is my birthright. And I want to assure you that your dad is already sitting on the throne. <laughs> I love you, Dad. No one else. <laughs> I love you guys. No one can stop you guys. I believe you. Mom, what do we do?
until that he won't sit on that throne. Uh, he said so, but I'm not going to let him. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. And funny indeed. Funny indeed, man. Oh, uh, Dad. This is all I have to tell you. You sitting on that throne will not make only we, your children, proud, but it will also make our late mom the happiest wherever she is right now. Yes. In the land beyond. Yeah, that's true. This is all about the survivor of the fittest. And we are solidly behind you. Yes. That. Do not give up the fight. We're gonna fight that fight with the last drop of our blood. Yes. yes. That drop. Yes. We need that throne. Yes. We need it, man. Yes. Guys. Yes. We need that throne. Yes. That's the spirit, my son. Look, guys. I trust my dad. I trust my dad. Look, dad is not a coward to allow that throne slip away from us. Dad was grandpa's favorite. And I'm sure that he so wanted dad to sit on that throne. So, that throne is ours. Ours is staying in this family. It's going nowhere. It's ours. That throne is ours. I'm not going back. Look, Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Mafia is just wasting his precious time. Look, the sooner he leaves the shores of this country, goes back to Europe, face his goddamn business over there, the better for him. No, no need to advise the nigga. Okay? The contest is free. The floor is open for him to contest. Allow him try so that he can fail woefully. The only assurance I'm giving to those guys is that I am not leaving this country until I am convinced that is seated on that throne. That's my bro. Hey, no son. You will have to go back to school. Listen, Akali Mokumkotel. My first case is a small case. It's by fight. Just allow me fighting and I'll show you something. That I disagree with you. The fight is not to us alone. That is our fight. We're gonna fight it to the end. That there's no going back. There is no going back. Okay, that's the spirit. I agree with you. <laughs> Get something less um pull up. I call this meeting so that we can start searching for a dark goat. Why is this day? It is said that the presence of redemption is worth the power of fear. So, let's start looking for a solution within us now. Before it turns to something else. Oh God, the, the solution is very, very simple. Just tell Rafa to step down for me. Let him step down for me. And that is all. Just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. That I should do what? Forget the truth. My birthright. I think you are out of your senses. For then you don't want peace in this house. <laughs> yes. Who is afraid of war? If that is what you want, I give it to you. Indigenous of this land, 
we must be very careful so that we won't destroy what Father has to build. This is our house and a house that is divided against itself automatically crumbles. And I know it is not what we want for ourselves. Uganda, let, listen to me, let me tell you something. That is, that is not going to be our fate. Are you listening to me? Like I said earlier, this is very simple. Let Mwa for steps aside for me. The throne is mine. Now, Paul, since that is very simple, why don't you step down for me? Look, just look at what you're doing. Look at what I'm doing. No, oh, you know what you're doing. And hey, you know what you're doing. They shouldn't cause a quarrel, please. I beg you, just allow him to take over the sea. For the sake of peace, please. Ugonne, just turn to him and tell him to step down because it is my birthright. Ugonne, stop destroying yourself. Stop bothering yourself because you are just. You're simply wasting your time. You better stand up there. I told you this is very, very simple. Let him forget that joy. Hello. Children, I must confess to you. The way things are going in our late Igwe's palace is giving me sleepless nights. Now that our lady we has been buried for six weeks now, the tomb is still vacant and there are people there to occupy it. Ichobi, mm. you're the only one concerned here. I am deeply worried myself. For my greatest fear now, my greatest fear now is that those children Likely, may turn the good image I let you go left behind if they continue this way. I mean, this is a once peaceful, loving family that everybody in this village are called with much respect. I don't know why they want to destroy it with their hands. Don't you think Mwanko is right in a way? How? Considering the years that his twin brother has been out of this country, don't you think he is no more in line with our culture and tradition? How do you think such a man can be our Igwe? Hmm. It's him. No. Traditionally, the eldest one, which is of course uh, Prince Nafo, is the rightful heir to that tree. Mm -hmm. Traditionally speaking. But that doesn't mean the girls will kill anyone. If the younger one decides to step into that tree, provided they all agree to it. All they need to do is so have some, you know, make some form of compromise and agree with each other. It's nothing they should fight over. That is what I was thinking. But why can't one of them step down for the other one? I really don't know. However, I, I plan to call two of them and see if we can talk sense into them before the whole thing gets out of hand. Please do so. I'm sure they will listen to you. With that sorrow that we have, with that trouble that we I'm sure you remember the relationship that I share with your father, the late Igwe. I was not just a member of his cabinet. Oh, well. Oh, God. But I'm like a father to you, too. That is why I've called you here to remind you of what you seem to have forgotten about the personality of your father. Igwe Chendo, the fifth, was not just a king. He was the former ambassador of Nigeria to Canada. He was also the head of all the kings of the Eastern Zone. That is why the society and the press included are all trying to know what is going on in the palace. I and the Council of Chiefs have also, on our own part, tried to shield that information away from them. But I'm sure you know that this cannot continue forever. Our people say that those are the gods are trying to protect should also do something to protect themselves. 
You too must show a good example for others to follow. That's why I've called you. Um, I don't know who you have spoken well. And we really want to appreciate your concern and your good advice to our family. In fact, you are like a father to us. And we mustn't fail to accord you that honor and respect. But you see, my, my, my concern over the throne is because it is my right to be there. And I believe that if my father knew that he was not going to make it alive, he would have handed over the throne to me. Shut up! My father, Igwe Ochendo, the fifth, will never do a thing like that. Never! Eh? Now, for let me ask you, do you know father? What do you know about father? No, you're looking at me. What do you know about our culture and tradition? Listen to yourself. Do you know the secret of the throne? You are always trying to struggle for what does not rightfully belong to you. No, 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 no. It's my uncle. You got it all wrong. It is wrong for you to say that the throne does not belong to him. He is a rightful owner of that throne. Let us say the truth and put the devil to shame for once. The truth of the matter is that Prince Mwafo is the rightful owner to this throne. But he can accord you that privilege to step into that place through compromise. It is not something you just wake up and snatch it away from him. That is a tradition and that is a culture of our people. And that is where I stand. May God bless you, Ono. Um, now you know, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I will never relinquish my birthright for anyone. It is not our tradition, it has never been done, and it will never be done in my own lifetime. Never! Now you know, with due respect, look at me. You can see the mark all over. Looking at me alone, you know I represent, uh, I mean, my father. But I'm sorry to disappoint you because the system still remains unchanged. Because I'm not going to give up this fight. That's a full work, a full fall, Dodo. A kingdom is born in the brothers. Get it at all. This is real madness. How can the world's peaceful family be torn apart because of one stupid throne? Stupid throne? Sandra Daya, you say stupid throne? Wait, let me ask you something. If someone forcefully takes what rightfully belongs to you, what do you do? You allow the fellow to walk away? Well, I will fight if it's something valuable. Not some stupid tradition and culture. No, that is not what a man does. Because the man walks into your bedroom and defecates, you don't just hands up and allow him to walk away. No, a man takes a stick and breaks his head for defiling your house. You see, the point is that you don't just get it. You don't just get what is happening. You see, this has nothing to do with some stupid tradition or culture. It has to do with birthright, some legacy of some sort bequeathed on my father. And one son of a bitch thinks he's gonna wake up one morning and take it away from me? Not why I, Derek, Nwafo, or Chendu is still alive in this kingdom. Not at all. But is it worth it? Is it worth all the tension he's generating? All the hatred, all the anger, all the bitterness? I ask you, is it worth it? Sandra, it's worth every goddamn thing in this world. The royal throne is our pride. We cannot afford to lose it for anything. At this point, Mira, what's up? Victor, what's your take on all these things happening? I need your candid answer, please. You want to know my own opinion? Good. I'll tell you my own opinion. I am not happy with what is going on between my family and theirs. I miss the good old days. 
the good old happy days when we we did things together had fun together shared things together but those days are gone I mean it's a war zone here now but why don't you do something about it you can at least talk to your father and your brothers to stand down and give peace a chance <laughs> Me, talk to my father and brothers. Look, Sandra, I am just one guy. One guy out of an entire family. I mean, what difference will my opinion make? My opinion will simply be like a tiny pin in a vast ocean. I mean, I can't do anything. I can't make a difference. <laughs> Not me. Not me. At least voice it out first. Posterity will record you as a man who dared to be different in the midst of a popular and acceptable norm. Are you sure? Because I'm not sure too. <laughs> Without sorrow that we have, to do what? Without trouble that we have, a kingdom is born. What is what is it for you? I don't really know. Who is that? Ask for casual relationship. Why am I? Casual relationship. Yeah? Is that what you call it? What does you call it? I hope you are not troubled. If you love this study as you claim, for no reason should you have anything to do with this cousin. Listen, Nina, we don't have anything in common. We're just friends. The person I love is Stanley. I and Stanley have been friends for a long time. Before we came into the picture, okay? We don't okay. know where to go. Okay, you should just do everything for him. Don't know the who How do you want me to do that? Do you want me to be harsh on him? Who say you should be harsh on him? Who say that just the human is the best that with his body? Say that because not you are not telling me. Nina, watch your mouth. I have nothing in mind. Ah, who cares about me? I'm watching my mouth. All right. Without sorrow that we have, without trouble that we To do what? I don't know. Maybe to see me. To see you? Mm -hmm. what, is, what is between two of you? I don't really know. Maybe he's out for a casual relationship. Whatever. Casual relationship? Yeah. Is that what you call it? <laughs> what does you call it? Princess Listy. I hope you realize what you're doing. <laughs> if you love, please stand as you claim. For no reason should you have anything to do with his cousin. Listen, Nina. We don't have anything in common. We're just friends. The person I love is Stanley. I and Stanley have been friends for a long time. Before Vin came into the picture, okay? Okay. In that case, you should just do everything possible to quit the relationship. How do you want me to do that? Do you want me to be harsh on him? I'm not saying you should be harsh on him. I'm saying that just tell him you're in a serious relationship with his brother. Except because not you are not telling me. Nina, watch your mouth. I have nothing in mind. Ah, who cares? What's happening? I'm watching my mouth. All right. Things are no longer funny. Olo, you too. Things are getting out of hand, and something must be done very fast before we should hear the worst. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I've tried to talk sense into them, or to never. My fear is that uh, this peaceful, loving family. It's going to be turned to a war zone if nothing is done. Is it only the bare-dead one that calls himself Prince Wangko? 
Who wants to take away his elder's brother's birthright from him? It's the cause of all this problem. Why can't he allow his brother, I mean Prince Wafo, to take what rightfully belongs to him? Oh. Hmm? Imagine how they threaten the lawyer the other day with a gun. Thank God, though, he escaped it alive. Tell me, what will you have told the press? I don't know. Oh, Fana Chondefai Alapata. It will never work for them. Oh. Hmm. In the chair. Oh, no. no. I've tried my best. I've tried to call them to order. But nothing. Those children are like the lizards. They are sharpening their teeth with salt. Why we see among those that die from rat bites? Oh. What is it that I have not told them? I've pleaded, I've shafted, I've cajoled. No one is listening to me. I'm trying my best. Hands are free. Disappointed at you. I am sorry to say that. Is this the only way you will reward your father for all he has worked all through his life? I bear witness, and even the gods will bear witness to him that he owe you nothing. Your father pursued peace and I'm sure he imbibed it on you. What happened to it? I'm asking the both of you, what happened to it? Prince Wafo, Prince Wanko, what happened to it? Where is your brother in love? You promised to live by your father's example. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know what they want to turn your friend's house into. They are the reason why I'm still here in this country. Up to this moment, I would have gone back to Canada to meet my husband. But I can't do that when my father's house is on fire. Please. Rise up, my princess. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. Thank you. Stand up, my princess. Yeah. Are you happy to see your sister in this condition? Let me tell you. Your father, even the gods will be a witness that he owed you nothing. He owed you nothing. Therefore, whatever comes out of this, you will pay for it. You will bear the consequence. You have also discredited the sacred sanctity of this kingdom. Which your father believed in and worked for all through his life. I wonder. I've been looking for you everywhere. Ever since the king visited yesterday, you have not been yourself. Don't tell me they have convinced you to step down for your brother. That I will not take. You cannot subject me and my children to such humiliation. You are your father's successor. You must Sit on that throne. Yes.
what did you just say? Yes, I have to do it, so we can have peace again in this family. Besides, I don't have time for all this throne of a thing. My life does not depend on the throne. I have a lot of things to do out there with my time. My uncle can have it. They have bewitched you. They have forced you to step down for your brother. I will not allow that to happen. Listen, nobody bewitched me. Remember, I am the first child of this royal home. And by implication, no one can force any decision on me. But there are decisions I can take which could endanger the peace of this royal home. Based on that, I have decided to allow peace to reign. My father, the late Igbo, don't forget, was a peace-loving man and he preached peace all his life. So, I think I am the true son of my father and peace must reign in this home. Period. Excuse me. That is the voice of a coward. be dead when this will will be read that I'm worth 1 billion naira in cash and 4 billion naira in assets including a brewery company a cement factory 10 estates 20 automobiles and 10 supermarkets at the time of death that my eldest son one for she inherit 200 million naira worth of cash, five automobiles, two estates, plus a brewery company located at 35 Queens Park Expressway, Cape Town, South Africa. One first kiss she inherit 50 million naira worth of cash, one automobile each 
one supermarket each, one estate for his eldest son, Vincent. That my second son, one uncle, shall inherit 300 million naira of cash, three estates, five automobiles, plus a cement factory location. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Imagine! Are you, are you crazy or something? 300 million! Vincent. Run for control yourself. No, no, did you hear him properly? You're nothing but a fool. Now you listen and listen real good. You have five minutes to go out there and get grandpa's real will. And get your black ass here. Else, I swear to God, I will bury you alive. Now get up. To I hate repeating myself. I hate repeating myself. I said, get out! Get out! Barista Lee! No way. Vincent, what? Drop hey, that gun on you! Put it off your fucking ass! Drop it off! 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 Drop are you pressing one way? What exactly are your plans? What do you want to turn this kingdom into? Do you want this throne to depart from this family? You tell me. Because I'm listening. Now you know. I think the question should be directed to Prince Wampo. Because he has the better answer to it. Do not be stupid. Huh? Do not be stupid. That question was meant for you. So you go ahead and answer it. Enough. That question was made for both of you. And we demand an answer right now. Wanko, you are scolding at me. Your senior brother. Watch your mouth. Ndeche, have you seen it? You go ahead and answer the question. Watch your mouth before I do it. You deal with me? Yes. You are too small. Prince Wanko. Did I hear you say you deal with your twin brother? Definitely I will. Deal with him bluntly if he doesn't take his time. Okay. So, Junior brother. Robin, what up? I thought you were informed that the dinner is ready. Um, Derek, I'm not in the mood for food, okay? So, enjoy. How do you mean? Is it because of Princess Vivian? Bro, I love this girl. Okay? I love her so so much. This feeling is running all over my head, my nerves, my bone, everywhere. I wish I can control it, but it's not working out. I love this girl. So then, I've told you this before. If it is that Princess Vivian, worry about her no more. Think about that girl no more. I've told you this. The assurance I'm giving you right about now, if it is that girl, you're going to have her all to yourself. I got my skills on women growing like beards. Relax, man. No, no, no. She's yours. <laughs> Look, it's not possible, okay? This girl is deeply in love with Stanley. Call the crap, bro. I've told you this before. When I would talk about babes, don't even call that dude into it. He got no skills. He got no skills on women. Look, 
All you need is systematic way of winning our heart. And that's all. We got it, bro. Okay, alright. Um So tell me, how do we go about it? Bro, relax. We're on top of this game. I'm gonna handle it. All the skills needed, we're gonna handle it and in no distant time she'll be all yours. Bro, relax, let's go and eat. Wait, 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 wait. Derek, look, I'm counting on you, okay? I believe you and trust you. But that asshole needs to be warned. Okay? I mean, how can I be dragging a girl with a nobody? A low-profile miserable idiot. Don't you get it? I need to warn that guy, okay? Let's go and eat. Okay. Big bro, if you can do this for me, I would appreciate it. Let's just like I never knew you were this heartless. How could you have possibly done this to your brother? What if the thing was hot enough to have caused a permanent scare on his face? I'm asking you, of what use would that be to you? Auntie, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Don't tell me you are. You are not! Vincent, I'm Stanley. You guys are not sorry for what is happening in this family. Whether you're making fun out of it. You guys are old enough to bring back your father's senses. Can't you bring back peace into this family? Until you're deviating from the point. He started it. You, 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 you dare me. You! Hey, hey, hey. Don't dare point your fucking finger at me. Sorry? But do what you do. What's your name? 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 You're making noise before me, you said. I said it is okay. Uh -uh. Good night. Why do you want me to ask you this? How old are you? And this is not all about age. How old are you? It's not all about age. What are about? His miserable old father is the one causing this problem. How do you explain this? He went out there fighting for something that does not rightly belong to them. Huh? This ain't. I'm going to smash your fucking face if you dare mention my dad's name again. So, as you, you try me. So what? I can't stay in love without you. Get away from me. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. It's burning inside me. I'm so weak. <laughs> Believe. You'll be well soon. Don't want to be here. I've sent for father. So, please get away from me. Please, I need you. I want you. It's my sorry. Sorry. Start to see me. Oh, sit down. Hey, uh, mom. I invited you here because I think it is time we make peace in this family and leave all these ignoble attitudes of ours and chat the way forward. You know what to do? Just have to go ahead and do it. Will you shut up? I invited you here. You never did. And I have my reasons 
for inviting you. So you shut your mouth and hear me out. Our father, Hugo Chenda, the fifth, taught us everything that he needed to teach us. He never owed us anything. Rather, we are indebted to him. Wherever his spirit is now, he will not be happy, seeing that we have grown to destroy what took him several years to build. I am the senior, and I have decided to bring peace back into this home. Hey, Jimam. I have thrown in the power. Huh? What do you mean? You go out to him, wherever you are. Dad. Dad, wake up and go to bed. It's late. Dad. Dad, wake up and go to bed. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. 
Laisse-moi donc là. Daddy. Voilà. Daddy. his own twin brother. It's not possible. Huh. Leslie, man, this is serious. It's not possible. This is serious. Because everyone believes that dad is responsible for the death of his brother. But in this case, how can he prove his innocence? How? Huh. Okay, if you say so, then what must have killed uncle? Very mysterious. But I believe there's a force behind it. Force? Of course. What do you mean force? Yes. There must be force behind it. Oh, come on. Mom foresaw this. Mom saw it coming. She told me, but I never believed her. Mm -hmm. Because the whole story was sounding so incredible and confusing for me to understand. But little did I know. Little did I know that it would come to pass like so. Damn! Ruvin, I can't just imagine this. You mean uncle's motive for eliminating dad was for him to ascend the throne? Is that right? What else? That only means he thinks possibly he can ascend the throne. Never mind, you say that. It's not possible. Yes, you will never smell that true. Okay? I want to make something clear. That room right here belongs to us. Confirm! And I swear to God, bring my lips. No one! I said no one give up! No one done by any group can take the roof from us. Confirm. For killing dad. For killing dad, I swear on God we will never go scot free. He must face the music. Uncle will never, ever go free for killing that. I believe you. I swear it. So shall it be. Amen. I will say what I will do. What is it? Aro. This is the first in the history of our land. How could one go had possibly? Killed his brother because of throne. It's a taboo. It's your counter. Oh no. I am confused. Mm. Seriously, in your opinion, do you believe that Prince Wanko had a hand in the death of his brother, Prince Wanko? There is no two ways about that. 
It is obvious. He killed him so that he can inherit the throne. Remember. I said, remember that he threatened to deal with him. Yeah, I know, but I thought that was a mere threat. You don't take such threats for granted. Oh no. My uncle is so desperate to be on that throne. I mean, he is so desperate to be there. Now, he has killed him. He believes he can get away with, with it. Never. Never. As far as I'm concerned, my uncle must be forced to stand before the oracle. Exactly. You know who has spoken. We'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. it My dad is innocent. That I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you mean by your dad is innocent? I don't understand. You think that one come in? Look, my dad is innocent. You understand? He, my dad doesn't have the heart to commit such an evil. God forbid. Do you understand? He told us and we believed him. So why is everybody accusing him then? I wait that one come in now. Everybody is pointing at your dad. Look, my dad is innocent. That's all I know. Is it because of the angry dispute they had that everybody took to be very serious? He wasn't serious about it, which I know very well. He wasn't serious. They are all doing this just to make sure he doesn't get to the throne. Okay. That is it. But remember that the elders want him to come and swear before the oracle. Eh? The oracle. The elders want him to come and swear before the oracle. Oracle. Okay. The oracle, you know. That is innocent. Yeah, no joke. Hey, Linda, if this is a joke, please stop it. Princess, it's not a joke. I'm serious. About what? Don't tell me you've not heard of it. Heard what? That Stan's father kills his twin brother over the throne. Princess, it's no longer news. In fact, the news is everywhere. Everyone believes he killed his brother. That is the gospel truth. Which gospel truth? It's impossible. How can someone kill his brother over the throne? I've had issues. But that's not enough reason for him to raise his hands on his twin brother, his own blood brother. It's not possible. I don't believe it. Do you think it's everyone that has conscience? Do you? Not at all. Most of them have sold their conscience to the devil. And the desperate nature of Sam's father to sit on that throne must have caused him to kill his brother. No, no! Oh my please, God. Please, please, please. There is no doubt about that. I don't want to hear this anymore. Better than Get into the car. You cannot sit down here and claim anything of your brother's death. You know what happened to him. You know it. My elders, honestly, I did not kill my brother. I did not kill him. But you threatened to kill him. I did not threaten to kill him. I threatened to deal with him. And that is just a mere plus. Prince Wangon, if you did not kill your brother, who did? Your brother's death was very mysterious. And only you can tell us the mystery surrounding his death. Nietzsche, hello. What do you tell a child that ties a loincloth, the seals drained from his mother's breast? It's only you that can tell us what killed your brother. But if you still maintain your innocence, then you have to prove it. Indeed, here. Oh no. I can I am ready to go to any length to prove my innocence. I don't bloody care. I don't I don't bloody care if you will prove your innocence. You killed my father. And it's time for you to join me. Son, he's in that house. Allow us to handle this. Don't let that bullshit alone. He is my father. Drop that gun or I blow off your fucking ass. I said, drop it. Fool. Stop me. Stop me, your father. 
already killed my dad. And all you could do is to point the gun at me. Stand up, tell me you're supporting your father for killing my dad because of the truth. You pulled out the gun. Okay? My dad is responsible for the death of your father. My prince, I heard what happened. Is it true that your uncle was actually responsible for his death? They, they killed my father. They killed my father. The most painful part of this whole thing is that my cousin Stanley, Stanley supported his dad. What? Stanley did what? Stanley supported his dad and killed my father. God. I'm now, I'm now fatherless. They think all made me fatherless. All because of the truth. All because of the truth. Please. You don't have to cry. Please. You have to be strong. This is time you have to be stronger against challenges. The death of my brother Wafo is unimaginable. I never expected it. It was indeed a great shock. Brother Wanko, <coughs> people believe you have a hand in his death. So please tell me, tell me the truth. Did you kill him? Ugonme, listen Ugonme, I don't believe that you will be asking me this kind of question. If there is anybody who has to trust me, it should be you. Do you believe 
I killed my own brother. You know, people are saying this because of the threats we launched on him. Sure. Everyone knows that you are so desperate to sit on that throne. So you could have possibly... I could have possibly killed my own brother. No, tell me. Is that what you are insinuating? I could have possibly killed Rafa. I never said that. You are putting words into my mouth. I never meant that. But you believed it. Yes, yeah. you do. What one believes here does not prove you guilty or innocent. You know yourself better. The elders have concluded that you will swear for the oracle. And that's the only way you will prove your innocence. Ugoma, I am highly disappointed at you. How can you be talking like this? Even you, you don't know me anymore. Hey! Ghost of Allah! We don't know how the water entered into the standing tube of the pumpkins. Only you know. Come and intervene. Come! The Ghost of Allah. Because if the snake fails to show its venom, little children will take it in time for our we want you to intervene, but I want to talk to you I'm going to go. Come and deliver the innocent and destroy the wicked. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Step forward, Prince Wangpo. Remove your footwear. Take this and repeat after me. As I stand on the earth of this land. As I stand on the earth of this land. May I not see tomorrow. May I not see tomorrow. If my hand, if my hand is in the dead, is in the dead of Prince Rafa, of Prince Rafa, so be it, so be it. Susie! Susie! You won't believe this! My dad slept and woke up this morning, healthy and hearty! Susie, you won't believe this! Don't you understand? I mean, it means he's innocent and he didn't kill your dad! Look, Susie, this calls for celebration. Don't you understand? It's a good news! Susie, it's not me! Hey, 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 hey. The mouse! The mouse! What did you do? What did this girl give me a slap? That's the simplest thing to do. Come! What do you mean? What do you mean? It's your left hand, this is not over! 
Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Come, get the girl, man. That's true, it's not a girl. Why, why, why did I hold you? What do you mean? What do you mean? Come now. Oh, I am shocked by this recent development. How could he possibly have survived that? It's a mystery to me now. That. He survived because he was not guilty. My daughter, he was never innocent. He is 100% responsible for the death of his brother. Only heaven knows how you managed to escape the wrath of the gods. Dad, why are you judging an innocent man? If he was guilty, he would have died. My princess, Prince Wanko is a very dangerous man. He alone knows how he managed to survive the wrath of the gods. That's why I am telling you that you should have nothing from now on to do with that family any longer. Dad, it's not possible. Stanley is a guy I love so much. The only reason I stopped seeing him was because I felt that the dad was guilty of what they were kicking him off. Right now, he's been proving not guilty. I can't afford to lose him now. Mm -hmm. Never. Listen to me. He was guilty. And besides, the family are evil. Have nothing to do with them. Dad? Have I made myself clear? I'll be in my room. With that sorrow that we have, with that trouble that we have, a kingdom is coming. The brothers are fighting. Who is that green? The green snake in disguise. With that sorrow that we have, with that trouble that we have, a kingdom is coming. The brothers. Remember what you promised me the night your father died. That you will not give up. This is your heritage. Don't allow them to take it from you. Fight it. Stop them. It is your right. I'm a full grown man and I can stand up and fight for my right. Yeah. I remember the vow I took before that gave up and I know my responsibility as a man. Mom, trust me, I will fight and fight and fight them till the end. I promise you, Mom. If only your father will be alive. No, 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 don't start, please. Don't start, okay? No, it's okay. No, 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 it's all right, okay? Fight and fight them till the end. I promise you, Mom. Hello. Hey, can I move? Blue boy. Now that Prince Nankor's innocence has been proved, I suggest we go ahead and crown him the king. You are right. Let's go ahead and crown him. Hmm. Oh no. I don't think we are making the right decision here. We must be fully assured of his innocence before crowning him the king. 
It's your counter. For now. What other assurance do you still want? Or still need? What other proof do you want? All I am saying is that I'm not yet fully convinced that Prince Wangko is innocent. We must still consult the oracle. Consult what oracle? Are you trying to tell us that the gods that spared his life were wrong? What exactly is your point? All I'm saying here is that we should make sure we are not making wrong decision here. It's your counter. Hello. What is the right decision? If you have any reasonable point to make concerning this issue, you better come up with it. And stop hiding behind stupid excuses that you are giving. Or do you want to prove guilty a man that the gods have already proven innocent? I don't, I don't know. know. What I'm saying is that I have made my point. You have made no point. It's your counter. Ah. So you better shut your mouth. Okay. No one. I should shut up my mouth. Shut up, it's your contact. You know who has spoken. <coughs> exactly. Mm. Of course I know. That is why I'm fighting against this seriously. Do you know what my name? I, Chief Okunta, I'm giving you my word. They will never, never, never succeed. And I will try everything within my powers to oppose it. Trust me, my queen. Trust me. I will reward you greatly if you do this. Don't mention I have to go. You know your first time for those who coming at me. You are right, my queen. No, I will not. Why no ma? Nenuku. Hey! Wow. You really need something here. Chai! I wish she can just come and give me a little of this. Then we will know what we will do. Chai! Hmm. 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 Together we shall, if we must, together we shall fight this battle. It's our battle. You're right, Derek. This battle is our battle. These men, they have really gone far with all these two arrangements. What are we going to do to stop them? What? Truthfully speaking, I'm so, so confused at this point. I don't know what to do, but something must be done to stop this man. Um, Derek, can you just come up with something? Like any good crazy idea, something we can do? Huh? Relax, man. Calm down. You see, I got this medulla working 24 hours. I got plans. What plan is that? We plans. Shit, this is bullshit. This is total bullshit. I mean, what, what gave those faggots the infantry to threaten my dad, my own father? 
Look, I don't know about you guys, but I have had enough of those faggots. We have to silence them. Right now. We can't just sit here and watch them. Bro Stan, I think Bro Vic is right. I mean, we have to put a stop to this. This one is taking us for cowards here. That point shits on our faces for crying out loud. Yes. Look, silence can no longer be accepted here and now. No. We can't just sit here and watch them. We have to do something right now. Right now. Look, they have mistaken our meekness for cowardice. Enough of them. Enough of them. Guys, you guys should calm down. Just calm down, okay? Bro, Stan, don't tell me to calm down. No, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Look. If Derek thinks he can bring his own cult group into this, then I'm going to bring my own cult group into this too. <laughs> Victor, I said, calm down. Just shut up your mouth and calm down. Relax. You talk too much. Okay? What's, what's wrong with you? Okay. Just okay. calm down. All right, all right. Eyes water, holy water. I'm good. I've calmed down. Shut down, calm down. So, big bro, what do we now do? Relax. I know what I'm going to do. Stanley, eh? are you still a small boy? Do you think you are a kid? So you don't know the problem between the two families. One must still go there and fight. Dad, Dad, I'm so sorry. It shows that you went before me and decked my name before Princess Vivian. As I'm talking to you now, she has abruptly called a quit to our relationship. And so what? And you think that place is the right place for you to vent your anger? Listen, I want you to use your brain. I want you to be very, very careful. If I had not walked in there, by now they would have thrown you into pieces. You have to be very careful. Dad, I know. I know. Dad, I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Now you go up there and be careful with yourself. You are royal Thank you, Dad. brothers. Live in a royal home. You are royal twin brothers. But you are the junior one. When King the Papa died, you want to be the king. Before we know it, your brother died. We are not going to step into the palace again until our security is guaranteed. Not exactly. I believe it is best to discuss whatever it is that we want to talk about. Right here and now. Um, oh no, well, I understand how you feel. Honestly, I sincerely want to apologize for what happened the other last time. And I'm standing here to assure you that that will never repeat itself again. So please be free to come to the palace whenever you want to. Come to the palace so that we sort things out. So that what? So that what? Let me tell you, we cannot proceed in crowning you until you have got to the root of this got matter. Got to the root of what matter? Oh, Kunta, what is your problem? What other information do you want? What else do you need? Tell me. You cannot compel us in crowning you until we are convinced enough that we are not making wrong decisions here. See, Okunta, what have I done to you? What do you want from me? Why are you always standing in my way? Hmm? Tell me what is the problem? Listen, don't make me believe you are my enemy. There happened to be one. What? Then you need to regret it. What? Do I excuse that as a threat? Nietzsche. Nanugia. You all had him. Just as he did to his late brother. Hey, Ichi Okonta, I warn you for the very last time. Do not. You are pointing your hand at me. I said, do not repeat. Oh, no. It is you I am respecting. You mean the 
they threatened you? Yes, my queen. If that was before the elders in council. What? You mean they heard you? <laughs> they heard him loud and clear. That's by the way. He can never do anything. Look, my queen. I am here to assure you one thing. That everything is in progress. He can never ascend to that throne. Trust me. I trust you, Chifokunta. Yes, my daughter. <laughs> trust you. Thank you, my daughter. Chifokunta. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. Money is not my problem. What then is your problem, Chifokunta? This is just to show appreciation. Well, if you insist. I insist, Chifokunta. Thank you. Um, my queen. Chifokunta. Mm. I do wonder sometimes how you cope. How do you mean? <laughs> I mean, your husband is no more. Mostly at night. You don't call her another day. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bye. Once again, thank you. He was with us a few days ago, and today he is no more. He's no more for what is really happening? What is happening? God can tell. Ishokunta just gone like that. This was exactly how Prince Mwafo died. Exactly. Someone is trying to tell me that Prince Mwafo is not responsible for all this. They died. After he threatened to deal with them. Hmm. Look at the way Ichokonta's wife and the children were rolling on the ground crying. I wonder. The man is gone. He was with us a few days ago. He is now no more. Whoever that's doing this must surely be exposed. He said something must be done about it. Starting from now. Don't fast. Let's go. Mr. <laughs> Now, the gate after me, 
May the God of this land. May the gods of this land. Strike me dead. Strike me dead. If I have any hand. If I have any hand. In it you can touch them. In it you can touch them. So be it. So be it. Attack him and let him go. You are accusing an innocent man. Let him go. See how I was subjected to ridicule. Something must be done about this. Because approved, I strongly believe that someone was behind me. Exactly. You there is someone definitely be behind all this. Definitely. I know someone is behind all this. I know. But I'm going to fish him out. No matter who said this. I must get to the root of this matter. I am out. Shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? Daddy, these people are all into the fight of the throne. Sally! Sally! You are royal to Mom, brothers. what do you think about Uncle as regards to all this? Do you really think he's innocent? My dear, the monkey said that she won't deny that her child whom she's carrying at her back ate up the food. Just because she didn't know whether she ate it or broke it. That's a very strong widow. I mean, I don't understand. Tessie, why all these silly questions? Do you believe Uncle is innocent? Yeah, but some believe he's guilty too. The Oracle would have struck him to death if he was found guilty. Sandra. Vivian said that uncle went to a very strong native doctor who prepared him a very strong opposing charm and that was why the, the, the oath couldn't get any effect on him. What? Yes! Mom? Yes. Do you believe that's possible? Yes. Things like that are possible. But as regards to your uncle, I don't know. These days, I only trust myself. I can't vouch for another. Mom, does it mean uncle is evil? No, I never said that. Nina, I've lost down in love. You know, what is why that I've been avoiding him? My spirit can't just be at, at rest. You know, I miss him so much. I can't just put up with it anymore. If I may ask, why are you avoiding him? Why? My dad asked me to. He said, Stan's dad is evil. But when I look at that man, I see a very innocent man. You know, I don't know what people have against him. Princess, you and I know that there is truth in every room. Won't stop. Spare me that. Okay, okay. But let me ask you one more thing. Are you also in love with Vincent? Of course not. Then why are you deceiving him, making him to believe that you're in love with him? Oh, Nina, it's not like I'm deceiving him. It's just that I have this, I have this pity for this man. You can't just bear the loss of his parents. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my God. Nina, please tell me. What do you think about all this? Do you really think 
Stan's dad is guilty of all this, of killing his twin brother? I don't know. I don't know, my dear. But nevertheless, my advice to you right now is to be obedient to his lawyer, Hyde. Dad, listen, Ina. Please. I know. Listen, I know he's my dad, but I can't help it. It's okay. I love Stanley. It's okay. I want to see him. I miss him every day. It's okay. Come here. Come here. You have to help me. Come here. I really love that. There's a poisonous viper within this vicinity, disturbing the peace of this royal home. Ha 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 ha! ha 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 I will go to come in with the spirit. I will come back in three days to unveil the secret. Three days. I have never been so confused and scared all over my life until now. What is happening? I am not even sure of my own security. Don't worry, my prince. You need not to be afraid. I knew you were innocent of all the accusations. Remember, I've observed you from childhood. You could have a heart to do anything. They definitely not to shed blood. But the, the problem now is who is behind all this? Honestly, that is the problem. You know, I am scared. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Okay, you don't need to. You don't need to. Our people say that what goes up must come down. I know someday, somehow, the truth of this matter will come to light. And the perpetrator of this evil will be exposed. Don't worry. Um, thank you, Ono. And um, please, Ono, I still want to ask you one thing. Um, is it not due for me to be crowned since everything has been settled? My prince, I know you come round to this. Uh, don't worry. Come the next AK Market Day. I'll present this matter before the elders in council. And you'll hear from us. I'm sure on a positive note. Thank you, uh, Ono. I know I can always count on you. Don't worry. she goes again. My queen, I thought I've asked you to get rid of this. You know I hate seeing you in this mood. You can mourn your husband forever. You must get on with your life. Huh? How can I? 
how can I? When the whole world has turned against me and my children, the elders have decided to deny my son the father's throne. They have decided to crown the killer of his father, the king. Is it fair? No, oh, it is not. Is it fair? It is not. It is not my queen, honestly. But my queen, why not meet with them tomorrow and make them realize what they're about to do? Where can I find them? They will be here tomorrow. Please, make our time and talk with them. I believe they will listen to you. Okay? It's all right. Stop crying. Eh? Stop crying, my queen. Listen. Momo. Listen. Mom. Come on. Mom, who is now the problem? Mom, who is now the problem? I want to call him. You want to call him? I swear, I will so so deal with the no. But when I'm done with the no, he will regret the day he stepped his foot into this palace. Vincent, do not hurt the old man. Relax. I, I should relax. No, mommy said I should relax. Don't want to call uncle and you're telling me to relax. How am I supposed to relax? Hell! Vincent! Your mother says, relax! Look at me in the eyes. I said, relax. Mom, I swear. Okay. Why are you staring at me like that? Because you look more beautiful to me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you stop flattering me. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, when are you going back to school? Uh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or next. Tomorrow next? No, 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 that's too sudden now. I was thinking maybe we should do two more days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are the first one. Oh, come on. I would really have, I would have left, you know, my dad. No go area. He's always like, go to school, go to school, go read, go read, you know. <laughs> so I don't know, but I'll try. I'll see how it goes. Unless uh, okay. I forget. When is your dad's burial? Oh, no date yet, my dear. We are still trying to sort out things and fix a good date. That old man. That's that. There is somebody I admire so much. Please, I'm trying to snap out of the shop so please don't go there again. Okay. But seriously, you are not coming back. Stanley! I see. Stanley! Chill! Where do you think you're going no, to? No, no, wait. Stanley, wait! Oh, oh. wait. Chill, chill. Just chill. God, how did this happen? Chill. God. <laughs> Come on, what is wrong with you? Stanley! Wait. Oh! Chill! chill. What is wrong with you? Look chill. at me! Chill. Okay, just chill. Come on, you don't have to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> but seriously, mom, you need to have seen the look on his face. He was so angry. He, the whole thing was too much for him to bear. And what was Princess' reaction? Um, Princess was emotionally touched somehow. Uh, I think she still feels for the guy. What did Stan say? Mom, Stan did nothing. 
He left angrily. He was murmuring. Even the princess noticed that Stan was not happy. In that case, I suggest you make the best out of it. Mom, I don't understand. Let's go to the and see what's happening with us. Eh? You can see that these flowers are getting there. Oh, what? Oh, what is the princess? Oh, Highness, the princess has been kidnapped. Uh, 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 my own daughter kidnapped? Why? What are you doing? You see? My princess kidnapped? Yes. You go, Jimba. Or can get one of a Kuruba kingdom? Uh, kidnapped by who? Your Highness. By two. By two. Mask. Gun men. They surrendered us with gun and, and took her away. My own daughter kidnapped in my own land in the Kuroba Kingdom. Eh? Ha! You go, Jimba! Ha! And what are you going to see? But loose, I will deal with this business. These are my detractors. They will fail and they will, they will ever regret coming to this world. This time around, I will deal with them ruthlessly and so decisively. Someone is behind this. Oh. Oh, no, 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 I cannot contain it. I must take care of it. There is sorrow in our hearts With the enemy we don't know A throne is on fire The princess is missing Who is that green? That green snake in disguise With that sorrow that we have With that trouble that we have A kingdom is burning the brothers are fighting. This is what I saw in the papers this morning. This morning I saw this morning. That what happened? She was kidnapped, Princess Lydia. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Pastor, I can't believe this. Wait, wait, wait. When was she kidnapped? The people said it was last night. Anyone can you buy it? No, 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 no. I can't believe this. Eh? I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Your Highness, from the depth of my heart, I'm so, so sorry about what happened to the princess. I'm, I'm I'm still in shock and short of words about this whole thing. Please, I'm so, so sorry, okay? I'm sorry. <sighs> well, thank you, my son, for your concern. Uh, my reason for coming to you now is because I know that you have a very strong relationship with my daughter, the princess. I want to ask you, do you by any chance know of any person who has issues with the princess recently? The princess having issues with anybody? Yes. Think now. Carefully. None think. Yes. Your Highness, yes. Who? My cousin Stanley. What? Yes! Stanley? The last time the princess visited me, Stanley vowed before me. He made it sound clear that he will deal with the princess for visiting me. So I am 100% convinced that Stanley is the person behind all this thing. Yes. Yes! Mm. You go, Jimba. Wakanga for Kuruba Kingdom. How could he? You may be right, my son. I think my daughter told me something like this sometime. And I remember I want her to stay clear of that young man. Go 
Um, please, I beg you, Your Highness. Considering the long uh, the relationship between the two families and the humiliation my son will be subjected to if he is being arrested by the police for a crime he did not commit, please, Your Highness, everybody knows that Stanley loved Princess and there is nothing that can ever push him to stand against her. He said he's innocent and I believe him. Stanley has never lied to me before. I can vouch for him. In fact, Your Highness, I have decided to assist the police to fed the hoodlums. I, I am nonsense. Officer, I'm sorry. Go ahead and arrest him. Why must you? Why must you stand for your son? For the crime he wittingly committed. Must you continue to be in evil? You're talking to me like that, Sabonu. Yes. You and your children excesses in this palace. How come beyond tolerance? We won't take it any longer. What exactly are your plans? Or do you want us to leave this palace for you? What? Yes. Or I'm, I'm you. I'm talking to you, Marco. I've accorded you with so much respect. And I can't bear it any longer. I can't! Oh, what do you want to do? You want to kill me as you did to Wafu? You call me a murderer? Guilty conscience, they say, needs no accuser. You think I don't know? You kill him just because you want to take over the throne. And we are uh, we've taken enough of your excesses in this palace. Enough! Hmm. My princess, it has not gotten to that. I remember, you know he's your elder brother. Your Highness, he used to be. He used to be my elder brother, but now he is an evil man. Officer, unless Stanley, he knows the whereabouts of the princess. Nonsense. Your Highness. Why are you turning this against me? Arrest him! Before God, I knew nothing about this. I'm innocent, Auntie. I'm innocent. Mm. Your Highness, can I carry my duty right now? No, not for now. My sister cannot believe me. <laughs> my own sister believed that I killed my children. Oh my God. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Stop that tears. Stop it, Dad. Stop it. Daddy, please, I hate those tears. Please stop it, Dad. Stop it. Please. Dad. You've shed enough tears. Those guys can go to hell for all I care. It doesn't matter who believes you or not. What matter is that? We, your children, believe you killed no one. Okay? Just burn those bastards. Burn them, Dad. Burn them! You will not understand. You will not understand what it means when the whole world is pointing an accusing finger on you. Everybody begs you to swear, but right? It, it, it is better than. Oh, stop saying that. Yes. Will you kill yourself? Dad. It's all right. I'm for you, and I am with you. And then you go away with you. Something is bothering me. What is it, my queen? Don't you think Fred might harm you the way you are taxing today? How do you mean? The same way he killed my husband. Sander will strike him down if he raises his hands against me. I know the God I'm serving. You have to be very prayerful. Fred, can be dead. My queen, I said I will not entertain any fear. Marco will do me nothing. You seem to have a strong faith. Yes. And God has never failed me. And He will never fail me this time.
Considering the long uh, the relationship between the two families and the humiliation my son will be subjected to if he is being arrested by the police for a crime he did not commit. Please, Your Highness. Everybody knows that Stanley loved Princess and there is nothing that can ever push him to stand against her. He, he said he's innocent and I believe him. Stanley has never lied to me before. I can vouch for him. In fact, Your Highness, I have decided to assist the police to fake the hoodlums. That's all nonsense. Officer, what is the matter? Go ahead and arrest him. Why must you? Why must you stand for your son for the crime he wittingly committed? Must you continue to be in evil? You're talking to me like that, Sabonia. Yes. You and your children excesses in this palace. How come we are tolerant? We won't take it any longer. What exactly are your plans? Or do you want us to leave this palace for you? What? Yes. Sabonia, you. I'm talking to you, Wanko. I've accorded you with so much respect. And I can't bear it any longer. I can't! Oh, what do you want to do? You want to kill me as you did to Wafu? What? Then you call me a murderer? Guilty conscience, they say, needs no accuser. You think I don't know? You killed him just because you want to take over the throne. And we are, uh, we've taken enough of your excesses in this palace. Enough! Hmm. My princess, it has not got into that. I remember, you know, he's your elder brother. Your Highness, he used to be. He used to be my elder brother, but now he is an evil man. Officer, unless Stanley, he knows the whereabouts of the princess. Nonsense. Yes. Your Highness. Why are you turning this against me? Arrest him! Before God, man, I knew mean nothing about this. I'm innocent, Auntie. I'm innocent. Mm. Your Highness, can I carry my duty right now? No, not for now. My sister cannot believe me. <laughs> my own sister believed that I killed my children. Oh my God. <laughs> Please, Daddy, please, I hate those tears. Please stop it, Dad. Stop it. Please. Dad, you've shed enough tears. Those guys can go to hell for all I care. It doesn't matter who believes you or not. What matters is that we, your children, believe you killed no one. Okay? Just burn those bastards. Burn them, Dad. Burn them. You will not understand what it means when the whole world is pointing an accusing finger on you. Everybody believes you are a brother. No. It is better than. Oh, Dad, stop saying that. Stop so, will you kill yourself? Dad. I'm for you and I am with you. It makes me go away with you. Something is bothering me. What is it, my queen? Don't you think Fred might harm you the way you attacked him today? How do you mean? The same way he killed my husband. Sander will strike him down if he raises his hands against me. I know the God I'm serving. You have to be very prayerful. Fred can be dead. My queen, I said I will not entertain any fear. Marco will do me nothing. Agoni, you seem to have a strong faith. Yes. My God has never failed me, and He will never fail me this time.
member of this royal home is going to swear before the oracle. Mm. No, 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 there you go wrong, okay? It's not fucking possible. I mean, what are we talking about? It is crystal clear that uncle here killed Sandra, mm -hmm. okay? So for that reason, he will face the consequences all alone. Because none of my family members, I repeat, none of my family members will partake in that oath. Incense! How dare you make such an allegation against my dad? Are you high? Are you out of your senses? Look at this. Can you Victor! Yes. You! Yes. You dare talk to my brother that way? You dare use a voice at my brother? Chill, chill, chill. Victor! Just chill, just chill, just chill, just chill. Brother? Chill, chill, chill. Where are you talking to me? Provin, relax. Relax, relax. 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 Where, where, where are you talking to me? I was talking to you. You're talking to me. I was talking to you. I was talking to you. I will condemn Enough! Your I will condemn you. Listen! Enough! What is wrong with you, children? Don't you have a ton of respect on elders? Anyway, there's no need protesting over this. This decision is made and it is final. No! I said no! I said yes! No! As to my brother's what about? Your Highness, we are doing our best. We are trying. But what baffles me now is that no call from the so called kidnappers. If they are indeed kidnappers, at least by now they would have sent a ransom note. I assure you, Your Highness, we must get to the root of this. We must. Now, listen. Your best is not enough. I am disappointed about your office. I need my daughter here and now. You must do everything you can to bring her here alive. Whether they are genuine kidnappers or fake kidnappers, that is their business. And I want to assure you that by this time tomorrow, if I don't hear positive from you, I will fall out with anybody. Everybody. We are doing our best, Your Highness. Your best is not enough. Yes. Do something and do it fast. But you are the junior one When King the Papa die You want to be the king um, no, no, no. Could you believe that all the effort we made In order to put that out of people's mind were in vain The worst part of it is that people are going about saying that I, Prince Mwapo, 
is using magical power to defend myself all this while. In fact, you know, I will stop at nothing until I prove my innocence. Please, I need your help. My prince, if I am to advise, I will ask you to forget about all this. Get done with your life. At least many people believe you. Oh, no, please. If you really care for me how you claim to, please do not stop this my opinion. You know all the pains I've been passing through all this while. How I have been humiliated. My image, my integrity being tarnished. Please, I will never forget this. What exactly do you want from me? Mm, you know, if there is any powerful spiritual man who can handle my case properly, please refer me to him. And I will never forget it in my life. Please. Ms. Wanko, I don't think this is a good idea. Please, no, please. Well, I do know of one. They call Mordiani the Great. Um, where can I get him? Um, my children, at this point, I have no other option than to embark on this journey. And that I must do. Please don't go. Please don't go. No, we love you so much. I can't afford to lose you. Because of course, should anything bad happens to you out there, you know we can't bear it. Please, Daddy, just drop this whole thing. Please, forget about it. Please. Honestly, Dad, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I mean, why would you want to risk your life to meet a man in such a God-forsaking place you just mentioned? Why? You don't have to go to that extent to prove your innocence to these people. They can all go to hell. I believe that one day, someday, somehow, the truth will come out and you will be vindicated. I mean, you don't have to take that risk to embark on this journey, Dad. I must tell you. My son, there is no other time to do this except now. This is the only time I have to prove to the people, to the entire village, my innocence. This is the time I have to tell them that your father is not a murderer. If I don't, who am I going to rule? Which people am I going to rule? Is it the same people who sees me as a devil incarnate? Come on. Just think about it. Dad, ordinarily, I wouldn't have stood and kissed your decision. But my fear here is the dangerous adventure you are embarking. Dad, honestly, we, 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 we are worried. We are worried, Dad. How are we going to be sure of your safety? How? You don't need to be worried. Nothing will happen to me. Okay? Nothing will happen to me. I'll be alright. And I just want you to be careful with yourself. It's okay. But why, why don't we? Or rather, why don't I go with you? Take care of the house. You take care of your brothers. Hmm? Let me go. Listen, lest I forget, nobody should know about this. Daddy, to be frank, huh? Daddy, to be frank, I just don't like this idea. Uh -uh. I just don't like it. Uh -uh. Okay. Get rid of this. Dad will be fine again. Okay? He will be fine. Yes. 
I just don't understand why Dad has decided on embarking on this journey. At least he should have listened to us for crying out loud. Oh God. Look, I'm afraid. I'm just afraid. Hey, come on. Don't tell me you are a bit pessimistic here. No, 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 bro, Stan. You don't understand. Look, I'm not being pessimistic. Then cheer up. Cheer up. Feel free, man. That will be fine, okay? All he needs from you now is your prayers. You know, he is doing all this for the benefit of everyone. Okay. The family's imagine is your priority. So just wish him the best. That's all. Not too much. Okay, thanks. That's all. Thanks. thanks. Officer. How may I help you? Grace. Stanley Kuchin. We have a warrant to arrest you now. I beg your pardon. Arrest me. Arrest him for what? What's going on? Of the missing of Man, that's bullshit. See, see, officer, there's something you, wrong. You guys are crazy, officer. What the fuck? There's something wrong with you. See, bro, you ain't gonna go anywhere. You're not stepping an inch out of this palace. For what? Officer, there's something wrong somewhere. Please, please. No, what do you mean, relax? Nothing will happen to me. Oh, I'm gonna go with that. Nothing wrong. Stand, you are not no, stepping an no, inch no, out of this palace. No, no. 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 Hey, man, hey, man, look, hey, man, look, look, this guy. Look, guys, I'm gonna go with I want to do many things. Oh, 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 you got it. Up. I got it. Up. I got it. Up. 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 You want to do better. What do you want to do? What do you see? What do you see? What do you want to do? 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 Hey, what's the problem? You're crying. Hey, come on, man. Talk to me. What's the problem? The police came here last night. But they took Stan away. Stan? I mean, what did he do? They said, they said he was the brain behind the kidnap of Princess Vivian. I just don't know how they came about that. See, that's one thing we're with these big people. I mean, what has your dad done about it? Amici, this is the most painful part of it. My dad is not even in town. My dad is I'm not in town. Where is, where is he? I mean, where did he travel to? Some, some, some kind of unknown. In fact, Amici, please, just free me, eh? Free me, let me face these troubles on my own, please. You see, <laughs> shedding tears. It's not the best way to face this problem, and neither will it be the solution. You see, Vance, I don't understand the way things have befallen your family, you know. But all I know, all this thing is going to be a history. Whosoever that is behind this must be exposed to sunlight, okay? And your family is going to be liberated. See, what I want you to do now is to stand up. Let's see what we can fix now before you know, we can get back to your dad. Time. I met you. I'm not doubting you. I believe you. But what will this be? Eh? Look at the problems facing my family, for God's sake. Just have faith in God, God. okay? And, 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 where do you say your dad traveled to? Can we call him or send a message to us or something? I need you to understand. I'm my father. We are royal brothers. When King the Papa died, they transcepted them. 
before we know it. It's alright. You can leave it. My queen. <laughs> I cannot see why my brother married you. Why? It's because of your beauty. Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks for coming around. You're welcome. I'm happy. They were saying you the way you are. You're not in your mood this time. You're very, you're, you're happy. Um, excuse me. I hope there is no problem. Ask you now. Huh? And I'm sure you have not come here with the same old story. Fortunately, Your Highness, the prince still maintains that he doesn't know whereabouts of the princess. Then you force the truth out of him. Your Highness, he can't be tortured that way. He is a prince. I mean, a prince from the royal house. Besides, something tells me that the young man is telling the truth. Yes. Are you out of your sources? What? Your what is that? Your Highness, the princess is back. Who? The princess. Give me my daughter? Yes, sir. Back? Yes, Where is she? She's in her room. Hey! Officer, you can take your leave. Let's go. You can go. Officer, you can go. Princess, it's me, your father. Open the door. Leave me alone. Dad, leave me alone. What's happening? Please, my daughter. You know I love you. You're my only daughter. Open. Leave me alone. Go away. Or I'll, I'll kill myself. Oh, 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 my daughter, please. Hold your peace. Don't do anything. Don't harm yourself, please. Please, I don't want to lose you now. Please, go. What? She is back? And what did she say happened to her? Hmm. My dear, she has not told me anything since she came back. The worst of all is that she even threatened to kill herself should I bother her. Well, she has decided not to talk to me. But she doesn't want to see me. Oh my God. Where is she now, sir? She's supposed to be in her living room, her bedroom. Can I go and see her now? Please, sir. <coughs> okay, if you want, if you want. Princess, what happened to you? Why are you doing this? 
please. Talk to me. What happened? Hmm. Speak. They said dangerous. A travel viper in your family. Huh? But I'm afraid it can't be defeated. Hey, great one, please. Please, great one, what do you mean? Do something. Please help me get rid of it fast, please. Mm. It seems to happen. Mm. Don't worry. We will help you. Let's see what we're doing about it. You are acting strange. Talk to me, okay? What happened? Nina, could you believe Vincent was actually behind my kidnap? Vincent? Yes. What? Why did he kidnap you? He sent some guys who kidnap and kept me all this way just for some selfish reasons. I can't believe the man I was forced to love was actually behind my kidnap. Just to incriminate that. God. This is unbelievable. I told this guy is a nice guy. So do I. I can't just believe it. I can't imagine it. Anyway, thank God you're back and alive. But princess, why are you hurting your dad? Why would I hurt him? Was he not the one who told me to quit every relationship I had with, uh, with Stan? I hate him and I hate him with passion. Oh, come on, princess, don't say things like that. He's your father. I don't bloody care. Better go and tell him to release Stan immediately because I will do something straight that he will not like. It's okay. Please go! I'm no problem, I will do that. Just calm down. Excuse me. Just calm down, okay? I'm going, I will tell him, okay? My son, Nine. I know how difficult this must have been to you. You know, having endured all these things. I mean, arrested and being detained for a crime you did not commit. Mm -hmm. Certainly, it must be very difficult. Only the God know who is behind all this uh, evil. Exactly. And one day that person will be exposed. You have to be strong for your younger ones, especially now that your father is not at home. Okay? Okay, sir. You're now the man of the house. Yes, sir. Um, oh, you do be gaka. Now you know. It should be. Thanks for the encouragement. Oh, we are very grateful. La 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 la
Tell me I can't hear you. Your mother is a witch. Look, if you say that again, I will say to your feelings. Ah! Your mother is like a little fire that consumes without mercy. Your mother killed your father and infiltrated your uncle, Wangpo. Eh? Look, 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 I'm in a very bad mood, okay? And I can't stand here and watch you lie against my mom. So watch it. Quiet! I say quiet! If you say that again, I will strike you and make you epilepsy. I'm blind. She also killed Ugonde's daughter, Achigo Konta. If you doubt me, look at this. Mission. She wanted to deal with your uncle for refusing her to marry your father. Whom I can hear you. She also wants to rule this kingdom with her magical powers. When her secret was exposed, she had to travel to India where she's been worshipped as a fighter. I of the girls. What can we do so that she doesn't come back to torment us? Mm. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. A sacrifice was made to clean the palace and the entire community. Mm. Sacrifice. I have spoken.
my dad must have been looking for me so soon. Don't worry, okay? I'll make it to you. Hmm? But you need to stay. Now don't frown your face, okay? I'll make it. But I thought I've stayed long today. No, you need to stay. Ah. Okay, don't worry. Okay? Okay, promise me you will not come tomorrow. Sweetheart, I can't wait to be your wife. <laughs> and I promise I'll be here very early in the morning. <laughs> What are you still doing with that thing? Huh? Take it easy. You are talking to my fiance. Listen to me. If you weren't my twin brother, I would have prayed that Hamadou had to scatter your mouth. Look, after all I advised you. So, so you want her to propose to, 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 to this girl? Huh? Why do you hate that girl when so much passion? Why? Love and so much. She's everything I have. Sir, I'm a good girl. Shut up there. Who's a good girl? Look, where she comes from, nothing good ever comes out from there. Get it, get it into your skull, brother. Look, she's bad. That's the time I said. Oh, that you, you, you're very wrong. You're very, very wrong. Look, her people are bad people. Anne is a rotten girl. Like father always say, one spoiled apple spoils the rest. Look, I advise you, go get a decent girl for a wife. What is your mom? Excuse me. I've said this, I'm going to say it for the last time. I advise you, go get a decent girl for a wife. And will never come to this house. Not as a wife at all. She's mad. I love her. Girl, I know your aunt. And I also know that this is going to be the second and the last time I will ever talk about this with you again. Stay away from my brother. Did you hear me? Stay away from him. Don't ever come around him anywhere again. Freddy, please, I beg you in the name of God. Let us get married. I love your brother so much. And come he loves me this. too. Please, Freddy, please. Of somebody else. Not my brother. Freddy, I mean no harm. Can't you just understand the emotions of a woman? Please, I beg you. Please. Please, Freddy. What, what, what did I hear you say? Say you mean no harm? Oh, look, your culture is bad. Your belief is bad. All about you is bad. We are light and you are darkness. We are love and you are hurt. We can't work together. Do you hear me? Don't ever come near my brother again. But you don't know me. You can't judge me. I'm not wicked. I'm not evil. Please. Get the answer for us. Please, Fre Freddy, please. Please, I beg you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> please, Father. You're the only one that can understand me, Father. I love him so much. I love him from the depths of my heart. Father, he loves me too. He has even promised to marry me. Father, you know I always tell you that I don't want to go back to our land. Father, I want to settle down here. I hear the man that loves me so much. But. Your twin brother is the problem, my daughter. Yes, father. Don't worry, my daughter. You have the man of your dream. The man that will love you and care for you, my daughter. Are you serious, father? 
Yes. And I'll show you the necessary things to do. Thank you, Father. I know I can always rely on you. Thank you so much for taking this burden off my shoulders. Oh, no, my daughter. Yes, Father. Whenever you face to cause power to fight, this is what we will do. Pray with these two red candles to give you more strength to your warm spirit. And make sure you don't go away from the mirror until the battle is all over. Do you hear me, my daughter? Yes, father. I love you so much. Please. Mom, I can't stay alone without you. Get to me for me.
shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? When all things are proved that you are the monster. When all things are proved that you are the killer, we all prove around. You killed my father. How shall? Oku, Oku, please. I know that we've wronged you in so many ways, Oku. Oku, please. Please find this space in your heart to forgive us. Uncle, please don't forsake us. Uncle, Uncle, you're all we have now. Uncle, please find a place in your heart to forgive us. Please, Uncle. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. Forgive us. Yes, my friends. Please. Forgive your children and I, your beloved sister. We all love you. How shall you be vindicated? 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 When all things are proved that you are the monster, when all things are proved. You are the killer. We all prove around. You killed my father. How shall you be vindicated? 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 Oh no 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 Oh no 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 Oh no 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 Oh no 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 Lord have mercy. That you are the killer, we all prove around. You killed my father. How shall you be vindicated? How 
shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? You we are royal brothers living in a royal home. You are royal twin brothers, but you are the junior one. When King the Papa died, you want to be the king. Before we know it, your brother died. We are born on the same mama Your father and my father We are royal brothers When King the Papa died They throne separated them Before we know it My father died How shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated how shall you be vindicated how shall you be vindicated when all things are true that you are the monster when all things are true that you are the killer we all prove around you keep my father how shall you be vindicated? 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 No, no, no. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Lord have mercy. Approved that you are the killer, we all prove around you. Keep my father. How shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? How shall you be vindicated? How shall you? How shall you be vindicated? You we are royal brothers living in a royal home. You are royal twin brothers, but you are the junior one. 